Here at Shepherd University, we're really looking forward to opening camp on August the 6th when our players report. We know we have a tremendous amount of work ahead of us. Uh, we have some big holes to fill from our 2021 football team. Uh, we also understand that we're going to have uh, some of the guys that are returning that had significant snaps in 2021 and were great contributors to our success of that football team are going to need to continue and carry that on in 2022. Their leadership is going to be crucial. That's going to be led by Tyson Bajan, our quarterback on offense. Uh, Tyson is the reigning Harlan Hill winner. His work ethic and his desire to be great, is it shows every day when he's here working out on campus and preparing to be the best that he possibly can be. We, we feel that we have a team that could be successful. Uh, keys for us to be successful is our older guys that have played a lot, they continue to play at a high level, and the young guys that really haven't experienced uh, success on the field really develop each and every day to be the best player they can be and have positive snaps uh, as we open the season on Thursday, September 1st versus Southern Connecticut. Um, our strengths, well, I think we got a pretty good group coming back, um, you know, on both sides of the ball. Um, you know, we did lose a lot of key guys in a lot of key areas, but um, the core of our group's coming back. Um, excited about how they've been working uh, in the spring, following through in the summer. Um, yeah, we're pretty excited about it. I mean, we have some key spots to fill, but that's what football camp's for. You know, we're going to have a bunch of battles up and down the line, in the backfield, wide receiver, defensive backs, linebackers. You know, you run the gamut, we're going to have guys competing to play, uh, a bunch of hungry bears ready to go. Um, yeah, I mean, every year it's a good schedule. We, you know, it's a really tough conference. So week in and week out, we're going to get tested um, by some really good football teams. Our crossovers are going to be challenging as well. Like you mentioned, Cal, uh, Mercyhurst, and Slippery Rock, all, all really good programs. And, um, yeah, we're going to have our, our you know, it's going to be tough, you know, like it is every year. Um, okay, so we're coming off of a, uh, a down year for us, six and five. We, we didn't really, lost a couple games tight late, um, but we uh, we had a great spring. Our kids uh, were pretty excited about getting back at it. I feel like uh, last year was a kind of a hangover from the pandemic, and, our, and we didn't handle it really well. So I think our guys are pretty excited about what's coming up this year. Offensively, uh, I think we have a great running back in Jaden McKenzie to build off of Phil Poque. It's also back there, Maurice and Mascua will give us some time in there also. Um, our offensive line is really um, one of our better offensive lines since I've been here. We are pretty big and physical, which we, ha we weren't last year. We were a little small last year. So I think that's gonna help us a lot. Um, we graduated a couple of good uh, receivers, particularly at tight end, so we're going to have to replace those guys, but I think uh, we're going to be better blocking-wise at tight end, and then uh, those guys will get better catching the football as the season wears on. In order for us to have success in the 2022 season, I, I believe it's relationships. We have to build them as a family. Each young man in this family has to get to know each other. they got to trust each other. And it's all about relationships. And I think that if you trust each other and you know each other, you're going to play harder for each other. And it matters more. I think physicality is everything in football. And uh, the more physical you are as a player, the more physical we are as a football family, the better chances of success. So we are going to emphasize that during preseason, and we'll continue to do that through the season. You know, football is a grind. Uh, Preseason is a grind. So we need to make sure our guys understand they have to embrace the grind. The harder they work, the more committed they are, the better they're going to be. It's just the way it is. Um, you know, the one thing I always say, in order to be great, all right, you got to work at it. And uh, there's a process to being great. And you can't skip the process. And the process is the, is the lifting and the running and, and uh, treating your body the right way. And that stuff nobody sees a lot of the time. You're, you're doing that on your own. So uh, we just got to believe in the process and understand that uh, we got to go through the process to be great. Really excited for the 2022 football season. Uh, guys have been working real hard. Um, we got a lot of people coming back on this football team, a couple five-year guys, some even six-year guys um, that have played within our program uh, and had a COVID year. 
But you mix that with some of the young talent we have, I look forward to East Stroudsburg University strapping it up. It'll be a while this fall. Um, some guys I'm looking forward to, our quarterback is back, Jake Cirillo. Um, he's healthy, battled some injuries last year and had, had a decent year, but he'll be back. Uh, he's a four-year guy for us. And our all-conference back, Gunnar Anglovich, is coming back offensively. Really look forward to seeing him in his senior year get after it. Defensively, I think, is where the strength of our team is. You look up front with uh, our All-American, uh, Deshaun McCarthy, uh, who had a tremendous sophomore season last year. Look out for number 18. He'll be, uh, he'll be going at the defensive end position. Mix that with Keenan Baines. Isaiah Regal is back this year. Uh, our linebacking core, Jake Keen, Paul Carreras, got uh, multiple uh, looks in multiple games last year. Our safety all-conference, Tyler Watson, is back. And you know, we had an all-conference kicker, uh, Devin Bartholomew. One thing I think is unique uh, about this team is though we have a lot of experience coming back, a lot of our talent is very youthful. Uh, so there will be a great amount of competition. There will be a lot of uh, uh, competition between units, uh, positions, and then you know, for us to be able to play the best football we can every Saturday afternoon in the house that Denny built, it'll be bringing everybody together. And that'll be kind of the, the mentality of this team. You know, let's do it as one, have a lot of synergy, uh, and finish. And that's what we're looking forward to in the 2022 season. We're very proud of how the spring ended for us. You know, number one, as your program's developing, number one thing that you look for is your leadership. Our players did an outstanding job from that particular standpoint. And I think very much embraced the standards of which we were trying to establish in our program. And I think that facilitated a tremendous spring force. So for the first time, you know, we have an opportunity to work together, develop, you know, get better on an everyday basis. And the team very much embraced that mentality. I believe now it's about like we have to continue to do that on a day in, day out basis, a week in, week out basis so that our program is able to you know, work to the challenges that the PSAC schedule you know, presents you on a week in, week out basis. I believe that from the day-to-day -day approach of trying to get better and trying to correct the little things and our program and our leadership did an outstanding job of understanding the things that we can control, we have to do a great job of that. More games are lost than won we have to take advantage of the opportunities that we have to get better on each particular day and continue to build the depth in our program, you know, to play the very, you know, physical dominant schedule of the PSAC East, you know, because every week, you know, that, you know, obviously you're playing great football teams, well coached teams that you have to be at your best and maximize your opportunities. And I believe that our program has started to do that, you know, based on the spring that we had and the great leadership that we had from our returning players. Just really excited to get the guys together again. Um, you know, we have a lot of experience, especially a lot more since uh, last year, and just great to, to see them develop. So we're just happy to get them on the field and looking forward to when they arrive, and we're just excited to get started. Well, we developed in, on the football field. We had a tremendous spring. I think the guys competed hard every day. They got after each other. Um, they're bringing competition amongst themselves. And ultimately, you know, we're looking for that to pay off in, in the fall. And that, you know, that's when it counts. And, you know, Tyler Tate is one of the better defensive linemen uh, in the conference, if not the country. And he has the ability to disrupt offenses. He has the ability to um, get after the quarterback. And you know, he's, he's showing more and more the ability to play to run better. So you know, just with him, it's about becoming a more complete player. And, and if he takes that step and becomes that player, he's going to have a very strong season. I think just getting the experience from last year was big, and, and I think even the, the last part of the season when there were moments of being able to move the football and put the ball in the end zone and, and finish some drives, I think that that confidence and that experience will, will pay off. This is Dan Mulroney, head football coach at Lock Haven University. First of all, really excited to be here at Lock Haven. When I was interviewing here, I think one of the biggest factors was the PSAC and the rich tradition of coaches and players that really make this league so special. I have a tremendous amount of respect for the programs and coaches in general. We've been here about five months now and, and the plan's in place. Overall, we inherited a great group of young men. I think that really want to be part of the change and that's exciting. We have one of the biggest challenges in the country and our whole program sees the vision and opportunity that lies ahead. 
Overall, just a super exciting time to be at Lock Haven right now. Our program prides itself on passion, toughness, and family. We're going to hunt progress and chase success every single week. We can't wait to compete in the PSAC this fall. Thank you. Get locked in. Go Bald Eagles.